Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Cristo Ray Network Virtual College Fair. My name is Sabel. I will be your facilitator for today's session. I'm super excited to get started. We have some amazing panelists and presenters here from some amazing schools, universities, and institutions. So I really, really want to get to them, but I want to make sure you understand this is an appetizer session. So each university in this 45 minute session will only have about six minutes to present. And then it is up to you to follow through and see who would be the main entree. Now, with that said, I do have a few housekeeping items to address before we get started. Remember, this is a webinar style formatted virtual college fair. So your camera and microphone are turned off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. So you're probably wondering, well, Sabelle, I have all these questions. Where in the world am I gonna put them? That in and of itself is a great question. You're gonna use your Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. If you look at your Zoom toolbar, it's somewhere in the middle there. You'll click that Q&A icon and go ahead and type in those questions to the presenters at any time. I stress at any time, do not wait until the last minute as there will not be a live Q&A happening with participant questions. So please make sure you put them in there and then our panelists will go ahead and type in the answers to your questions throughout the 45 minutes. Also, do us a favor, little pro tip here, if you can put the school, the college's name within your question, it is super helpful to make sure we know who the question goes to. Some other little housekeeping items, remember this is one out of many, many college presentations that are offered, so make sure to check the schedule on the website to sign up for more of these sessions. Now, if you missed out on some of the fun, maybe mom, cousin, grandma, grandpa, friend, someone wants to check out these schools with you, you all can relive the fun with us because all sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Christo dash Ray. Now, without further ado, I'd love to get started. We have the College of the Holy Cross first. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to share my screen and get started. So welcome, everybody. My name is Liza Goodman. I work at College of the Holy Cross. We're located in Worcester, Massachusetts, which is actually the second largest city in New England, about an hour west of Boston in Central Mass. Um, to tell you a little bit about Holy Cross today, we are a small undergraduate only Jesuit Catholic institution, and I'm going to break a lot of that down over the next five-ish minutes or so, but the first thing I do want to talk about is our Jesuit Catholic identity. At Holy Cross, we are one of 27 Jesuit Catholic institutions in the country. We actually have another Jesuit Catholic um, institution talking to you later, but at Holy Cross, we really believe in this idea of having our students become people for and with others. So we really want our students to be committed to um, creating an inclusive and diverse campus community, committed to service, sustainability, social justice. And also we as an institution are going to care for you as a whole person. We have this ideal of cura personalis, which means not only are we looking out for your academic mind, but we're also looking out for you as a person and helping you through the personal growth of your four undergraduate years here at Holy Cross. So to talk a little bit about academics, um, Holy Cross is a small school. We're about 3,100 students total. Average class size is 19, and the student-faculty ratio is 10 to 1. Um, we are an undergraduate-only institution, so that means that there are no TAs at Holy Cross. Um, there are no uh, master's students or PhD students on campus, so all of the classes that you're taking are actually taught by professors themselves. So you're really going to be able to gain a lot of mentors and advisors throughout your time at Holy Cross. And it sounds cliche to say, but you're never going to be just another number. Every professor that you have cares for you and knows who you are and is going to help you um, through your classes um, throughout your four years at Holy Cross. Um, so these are all the different academic majors, minors, and programs that we have here at Holy Cross. We are a liberal arts school, so we really do value this idea of learning for the sake of learning, um, making connections across disciplines, and allowing our students to really explore freely and discover new passions throughout their undergraduate years. So with that, we actually do require our students to come in undeclared. So every first year students come in without a major, and they have to be undeclared for at least a semester. But you have until the end of your sophomore sophomore year to declare a major at Holy Cross. And a lot of times students end up discovering new passions that they hadn't thought about 
or they even um, continued down paths that they were thinking about while they were applying to Holy Cross or other institutions as well. Um, we do have 12 common area requirements that all students are required to fulfill in their time at Holy Cross. Um, so you're gonna really get an opportunity to try a bunch of different classes from all different academic areas around campus. Um, so lots of students um, sometimes end up double majoring, majoring and minoring, or majoring and doing one of our focused career programs that we have here. If you do have any other specific questions about specific majors, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer anything within the comment section after I'm done with my presentation. So I do want to speak briefly that Holy Cross is more than just an academic institution. We are a campus full of spirit and we have a lot of things that our students can get involved in on campus. One of them being that we do have 27 Division I sports at the institution, as well as club and intramural sports. Um, we also have over 100 plus clubs and organizations on campus that students can get involved in. So we have performing arts groups, multicultural student organizations, identity-based organizations, special interest groups as well. Probably our most popular groups are our service organizations, especially because that really harkens back to our Jesuit identity as um, a college and an institution. So lots of students are getting involved in service work in Worcester, in the Holy Cross community, and in the greater country. So just to briefly talk about admissions and aid in the last few minutes that I have here, Holy Cross has two rounds of early decision as well, as well as a regular decision round. So it's totally up to you which deadline you decide to apply, but we don't have any non-binding early deadline. So if you apply early decision one or two, that is a binding deadline. Um, we accept both the common application and the coalition application. In terms of what we need from you, it's a pretty simple list. We obviously need your common application, your high school transcript, grades nine through current senior year grades that are available, and then two forms of a recommendation, one from a counselor and one from a teacher. You're welcome to submit more, but I always say cap it around three or four. And then for optional portions of our application, we are test optional and have been since 2006. We have optional interviews that we strongly encourage our students to participate in if they can. We do them both virtually and in person and any supplemental materials that you would like to submit if you're an artist or a musician or a dancer or you did some wild research project in your junior year of high school that you want to submit you're more than welcome to submit it and we'll take a look at it and just in the last slide here just to talk a little bit about financial aid we do require both the css profile and fafsa in order to be considered for financial aid um, but we do meet 100 percent of demonstrated financial need if you have any more specific questions please feel free to put it in the q a and i'll be happy to answer you or point you in the direct right direction on our website. But other than that, that's a little bit about Holy Cross. I'm sorry if I went a little fast, but just wanted to make sure I did it in the time allotted. And I hope you all have a lovely day and feel free to put any questions in the chat that you have. Um, thank you so much. All right, thank you so, so much. If you have any questions for College of the Holy Cross, please put it in the Q&A. Next up, we have the Catholic University of America. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you can hear me. I may be experiencing some technical difficulties. I'm not in a great Wi-Fi spot, um, but I'm delighted to be here with you. Uh, hello to all our guests. Hello to my colleagues in higher ed admission. I am Mark Cioli. I'm the Dean of Undergraduate Admission for the Catholic University of America. And I'm going to tell you a few things that you need to know about Catholic before I get into telling you all about what we offer you as a student. So the first thing you need to know is that we are a comprehensive research university in the heart of Washington, DC, and that any student who graduates from a Cristo Rey High School and gains admission to the Catholic University of America receives a full tuition award to attend our university. That's a value of over $53,000. Uh, we have tons of Cristo Rey Network students on our campus, and we think you all are a great fit for what we do. I would encourage you to visit. If you have the opportunity, please reach out to me directly in my office, and I'm happy to arrange a visit for you and your family. So remember that, a full tuition award if you apply and get admitted to Catholic in Washington, D.C. So we are a comprehensive university university in the Catholic intellectual, spiritual, 
and artistic tradition. Now, what does that mean? There are 246 Catholic universities in the United States, um, but there was only one in Washington, D.C. that was founded by the Pope himself and the bishops of the United States for this great nation. We have over 100 programs of study in nine different undergraduate schools. We are a medium-sized university. We have about 3,000 students on our campus. We do require students to live on campus for three years. So that makes for an incredibly vibrant campus environment on our over 176 acres. What else do you need to know about the Catholic University of America? Well, we're in Washington, DC, the nation's capital, one of the most influential cities in the world. And our students take full advantage of those opportunities. We offer endless research opportunities. We have more research opportunities and internship opportunities than we have students to take advantage of them in just about every endeavor of study. We were founded as a university that searches for the truth. That is a nod to our Catholic tradition, wherever it's found. And I think that's important for you all to know as you go through the college search process. So Washington, DC, comprehensive university, but we're also a faithfully Catholic institution. And we want students who want to strengthen their faith. We also welcome students of all faiths. Uh, Catholic is a very vibrant institution and we really stand as the vanguard for a tradition of education that has inspired all other brands of education, including my colleagues, the Jesuits. The Catholic spiritual, intellectual and artistic tradition is a tradition that helps students look out on the world with a sense of wonder and awe, that helps them pursue the truth wherever it's found, that helps them strengthen themselves as people. And you get that care when you come to Catholic. You will be cared for, you will be loved, you will be transformed. So it's important for you and your parents to know that. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of our more popular majors. Uh, we have an incredible business school that's really popular with students. We have a wonderful nursing program that's building a new nursing building will be completed by the time, if you're a senior, you are a sophomore at Catholic. We have a wonderful school of music, drama, and art. It's the only school of its kind in the Washington, D.C. area. We have a school of engineering, a school of architecture and planning, a school of arts and sciences, which has popular majors like politics. I mean, can you imagine a better place to study politics than in Washington, D.C.? Our students intern on Capitol Hill, and they're a part of all the influential events in the world that change the world and change lives. We have a study abroad program in Rome and we're affiliated with over 130 other study abroad programs all over the world. So our students certainly have that opportunity. Let me tell you a little bit about the students that are involved at Catholic. We have a tight knit community. And the one thing students say about the community as the characteristic that drew them to the university, it's the friendliness. Our students are friendly, they're good, they're mature, they're academically talented, we have two application deadlines, November 1st and January 15th. We have no application fee to apply. We only require the FAFSA. We do not require the CSS profile. We did away with that a few years ago because we realized that it's a barrier to access. And so we are committed to making our university as accessible as possible. So I encourage you to apply. I encourage you to visit. Keep in mind that if you are admitted, you receive a full tuition award at Catholic. And I encourage you to reach out to my office if you have any questions. Please drop them in the chat. I'm happy to share my contact information um, when we're done here. Thank you very much. God bless. Hope to see you soon. All right. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for the Catholic University of America, please put it in the Q&A. Next up, it looks like we have Bentley University. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes. I hope everyone can see this slide. I really, oh, there we go. Perfect. My name is Viviana Suavita, and I am an associate director uh, in the undergraduate admissions office at Bentley University. Bentley University is located in Waltham, Massachusetts, which, if you're able to see the map, is about nine miles outside of Boston, Massachusetts. We are surrounded by some of the most amazing institutions 
in the world, uh, being, you know, our neighbors being very close to us. What's important to know about Bentley is our size. We are considered a small to medium sized school at 4,000 undergraduate students which means that your average classroom size would be between 26 and 28 students. We cap off all of our classes at 35 students. We don't have teacher assistance at Bentley. All of our classes are taught by professors and we don't have lecture halls at Bentley. That's just not the style of teaching. So if you come from a much larger institution um, and are hoping to have a better relationship with your professors, or if perhaps you come from smaller classrooms and really appreciate being able to stay after class and have conversations, clear up any questions, please make sure that you are considering the size of the institution and the classrooms for your education. Something that's important to know about Bentley is the fact that we have been historically known as a business institution. And if you see the majors on our screen, we have some amazing traditional business majors like accounting, finance, economics. At the same time, however, we do have quite the selection of arts and sciences, including some hot and up and coming majors such as data analytics, if you really enjoy numbers, if you like working with statistics, that's a career that you should look into a little bit more. One thing to know is that we admit into the university. We don't admit into the majors and there's no cap to our majors. Um, and like another institution mentioned, all of our students have until their second semester of sophomore year to formally declare their major. I'm very excited. Uh, this past class, this freshman class that just started in September was our biggest and most diverse class in recent history. 25% uh, of the students that are freshmen right now are first generation students and 30% of them identified as students of color. I was just on campus this morning actually where we had this fantastic pinning ceremony for our first generation students in the freshman class. The university has made amazing strides in being able to support um, our first gen and underrepresented populations on campus. Um, that includes uh, several different scholarship opportunities for our students. Um, none of them require an application. It's an internal process. But what I can tell you is that by showing engagement, being here today, reaching out to counselors in the office, if you're in the Northeast area, potentially going to visit campus, these are all wonderful ways of showing engagement. At Bentley, we have some amazing um, statistics, I guess it's the easiest way to say that, with 99% placement rate, which means that six months after graduation, our graduates are in the field working or enrolled in a graduate program. And as you can see, the median starting salary for the majority of our graduates is around $63,000. Something that I'm incredibly proud to say is that our students are very active on campus. We're an NCAA Division II school um, with our men's ice hockey actually being Division I. In addition to that, we of course have intramural sports, we have club sports, we do have a bit, a bit of Greek life on campus as well, and over 100 clubs and organizations. Everything from the incredibly important cultural clubs to community service, dance club, video game club, whatever you can imagine. Um, housing is guaranteed all four years at Bentley. However, we do not require you to live on campus any of the four years if that's not something that you want to do. In addition to that, just some other fun facts about Bentley. Um, some fun things that they like to do is, like I mentioned, I was on campus this morning. We have uh, Falcon Weekend, which is essentially like homecoming weekend here for our school, where family and friends are able to come and visit. There's different games taking place. As a Bentley student, there is the spring concert where this past spring, Jack Harlow was in attendance. In the past, Travis Scott has been on campus. 
So if you're looking for a smaller institution where everything that you need is right there on a very traditional college campus, some amazing uh, majors with resources to help you become successful, and still the accessibility of being close to a great city like Boston, definitely make sure that you take the time to check out Bentley University. And again, my name is Viviana Suavita if you need any assistance. Thank you. Fantastic, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Bentley University, please put it in the Q&A. Next up, we have Wellesley College. All righty, thanks so much, everyone. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that Wellesley is built on land that was part of the original territory of the Massachusetts people, and we honor and respect the enduring relationship between these peoples and this land. Uh, but welcome. Thank you all so much for being here today. My name is Amina. My pronouns are she, her. I am an assistant director at the Office of Admission at Wellesley College, as well as a proud alumna of Wellesley's class of 2021. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, with Wellesley. Wellesley is a premier liberal, liberal arts and sciences college that believes that confident and educated women are the most powerful engine for social change. So we are a women's college. We were founded in 1870 as sort of an act of rebellion against social norms that excluded women from higher education. And today, Wellesley continues to expand the understanding of what women can and will do to make a difference in the world. We sit on a 500 acre campus Campus located just 12 miles outside of Boston. And this location is able to combine the serenity of a lakeside, yes, we do have a lake, a suburban campus with access to one of the largest college cities in the world. And our proximity to Boston allows us to take advantage of four historic partnerships with MIT, Brandeis University, Babson College of Business, and Olin College of Engineering, where students can cross-register for classes and participate in extracurricular activities. But focusing in on our own student body, we have a student body of just under 2,400 students who come from a wide array of backgrounds. Uh, and Wellesley College is actually one of the most diverse res residential college campuses in the United States, both in terms of geographic diversity, racial and ethnic diversity, et cetera. Uh, we truly believe that diversity is essential to the educational experience and are committed to fostering an environment where all students are able to thrive. So as you can see, about half of our students identify as students of color, nearly 20% are first generation and 14% are international students coming from about 83 different countries. And our commitment to diversity goes hand in hand with our commitment to financial aid and affordability. We believe that money should not stand in the way of a world class education. So we are committed to meeting 100% of calculated financial need for all admitted students and our average uh, financial aid award is just over $60,000. We're also need blind for US citizens and permanent residents, which means that when we, the admission counselors, are reading your uh, application to the college, we don't even know if you applied for financial aid, let alone, you know, if like what your family's financial situation looks like. So we're really making sure that we're paying attention more to merit rather than uh, making decisions based on what your family can pay for. Uh, one of our economics professors built My Intuition, which is a quick and easy cost estimator that can help you estimate what Wellesley would cost for your family. For many of our students, the cost of attendance is lower than uh, their state colleges and universities. And for students who have a family income of less than $100,000, you will not have student loans in your financial aid package. Wellesley students enjoy a broad and flexible liberal arts curriculum that really nourishes their curiosity in a collaborative learning environment. Our classes are really small. They're about 15 to 18 students on average, uh, and they encourage students to be curious, to ask questions, and to engage in discussion and develop their voices. And we are able to pack the vast research opportunities and state of the art technology that you would typically find at a large research university, but we're able to deliver these resources in an intimate environment that is 100% dedicated to undergraduates and to folks who hold marginalized gender identities. Uh, and that hands-on learning experience, such as research internships and student faculty collaborations are really an essential part of a Wellesley education. Research actually suggests that a key way to address gender leadership gap is 
for young women to witness in action and work with a more diverse range of female role models. So Wellesley is really committed to presenting these role models to our students. About 63% of our faculty are women, which is more than double the national average. 26% uh, of our faculty identify as people of color and a large majority of leadership positions on campus are held by women. And our eight to one student to faculty ratio puts you in direct contact with your professors. Every single course uh, of our thousand plus courses are taught by professors. We don't have graduate graduate students, no teaching assistants. It's really just you and Wellesley's world-class faculty who are your teachers, your research partners, and your lifelong mentors. Wellesley also recognizes that learning happens in everything that you do, whether that's joining a sports team or a student organization, or taking a quick trip into Boston for dinner and a movie, or completing a funded internship at your dream company. And all of your experiences, be they social, academic, pre-professional, or co-curricular, culminate in a well-rounded education and lead to some of the impressive career-related outcomes listed on this slide. Wellesley is also known as a leadership lab for young women and has a large history of developing leaders across a wide variety of fields and at every single level. And Wellesley really believes that leadership is not about prominence or power, but rather about service and that leadership is about engaging communities at all levels to bring about positive change. And like any skill, we also believe that leadership requires practice. You don't need to be born a leader, you develop in to a leader. So Wellesley intentionally builds an environment where students are able to thrive. And lastly, I just want to I just want to highlight that Wellesley graduates continue to be pioneers for social change and our alumni are tremendously committed to supporting and mentoring current students. So if you're interested in learning more about Wellesley, I recommend reaching out to us. Uh, here are some of our information uh, and thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Wellesley College, please put it in the Q&A. Next up, we have Lemoyne College. Good afternoon, Christo Ray. My name is Kwasi Yabois um, with Lemoyne College, of which I am a proud 2016 alum. I also had the pleasure of being a Jesuit volunteer for Crystal Ray uh, Jesuit in Pilsen. And so I'm especially glad to sit here with you uh, this afternoon and talk about the ways that you could continue the wonderful foundation of the Crystal Ray grad at grad experience here at Lemoyne. Our, our students benefit from the perks of a smaller college uh, in the great college town of Syracuse, New York, which is easily accessible to other major cities in the Northeast, complete with shopping and dining options, outdoor activities like hiking and skiing, and more internship opportunities than one could wish for. Lemoyne College is the youngest of the 27 Jesuit colleges here in the United States. While learning about uh, Jesuit colleges, you'll often hear the word cura personalis, or as it was translated earlier for us, uh, care of the whole person. And this again is an education that has a focus on the mind, body, and soul, as well as the path to developing a love for learning and growth you'll take with you long after you graduate. Lemoyne students come from different backgrounds, interests, personal and religious beliefs. In fact, you do not need to be Catholic to attend a Jesuit college. Uh, this style of education helps to create a community of well-rounded, critical, critical thinking uh, global citizens. At Lemoyne, uh, giving back to our community is a part of who we are, and you can see that reflected in our service learning opportunities, as well as other volunteer opportunities within many of our clubs. Our average class size of 20 to 22 students uh, helps to foster uh, connections both inside and outside of the classroom. Our professors are at the top of their fields and their focus is your education. If you're looking to engage in deep conversations, get hands-on experience within the classroom, uh, Lemoyne could be the place for you. Our core curriculum, innovative classes and dedicated faculty and staff work to prepare students well for success during their academic year and life beyond their time at the Heights. The Lemoyne student appreciates a comprehensive liberal arts education uh, with preparation for specific career paths throughout 
popular majors such as business, biology, political science, theater, psychology, and education, just to name a few. At Lemoyne, we have three schools. We're separated into those three, uh, the College of Arts and Sciences, the Madden School of Business, and our Purcell School of Professional Studies. These colleges are not mutually exclusive. You can take classes in any of the schools and study an interdisciplinary curriculum that fulfills your variety of interests. We also offer a number of accelerated master's degree and partnership programs, including direct entry PA, nursing, occupational therapy, a five-year MBA, three plus three law, and many others. In addition to a world-class learning and career opportunities, students will find a warm and welcoming college atmosphere with a vibrant and engaging social scene. Uh, thanks to championship level division two athletics, our Performing Arts Center, Lemoyne sponsored events and activities, and over 80 clubs and organizations. The, the possibilities for experiences outside of the campus are also many with a number of study abroad locations, national and international class trips, research opportunities, and many more. Our applicant profile is pretty straightforward. We look for well-rounded, curious, motivated students who are willing to challenge themselves in and out of the classroom. The average GPA for a student accepted to Lemoyne is around a 3.4 or a B plus. We are test optional for all of our programs. Applying to Lemoyne is simple as you can apply for free via the Common App or also through our direct online application. We have no preference for either one. Uh, we just ask that you submit only one. Uh, your completed application includes the actual application as well as your personal statement, official high school transcript, letter of recommendation. For those of you in your senior year of high school, the application is now available with our early action deadline coming up on November 15th. Academically competitive students will find themselves as the recipient of one of our uh, generous merit scholarships of up to $25,000 per year. All of our students are considered automatically for a merit scholarship in addition. In fact, uh, over 95% of our students receive some combination of financial aid and scholarship, uh, which is why we are consistently ranked as a top choice for affordability and value. Lemoyne also offers a unique scholarship career readiness program for all of our students with Promise New York. This program provides all of our students with, the, with an additional $3,000 in scholarship per year. Additionally, we promise to keep you on track to graduate during the time that you are there. I look forward to an opportunity to meet some of you. Uh, if you would like to visit, you can scan the QR code located on the screen. I'm gonna drop my email in the chat as well. And I uh, will hope to see some of you on our campus. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Lemoyne College, please put it in the Q&A. My panelists and presenters, come on back. I would love to see your beautiful faces because I have a question for you all. And I know our audience is super excited to hear about your advice. So what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Now we're just gonna go in presentation order. So College of the Holy Cross, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, We'll go for it. Yeah, um, I would say um, general advice is stay organized, um, but a little more detailed is definitely create an Excel sheet or a Google sheet with all of the schools that are on your list that you're thinking about applying to with deadlines, what they require in an application, because, you know, some schools may have supplements, some people require the FAFSA for financial aid, some people are, require the CSS profile for financial aid, some of us don't. So um, keeping track of all the deadlines and dates and requirements via a Google or Excel sheet is going to really um, allow you to feel like you have your head on straight and you know what needs to get done when. Perfect. Thank you so much. The Catholic University of America, what advice would you give? So my advice would be to take advantage of all of the resources that are available to you, including your guidance counselor and your parents and your teachers. And then I would encourage you to spell all the myths of the college search process. You're going to hear a lot of things, but one of the strategies that is not appropriate is to think that you have to go to the, the highest ranked college that you're going to get into. 
You need to find the college that's the best fit for you academically, socially, culturally, and of course, financially. So keep that in mind. Awesome, thank you so much. Bentley University. I would have to agree with everything that was just said. In addition to that, I know that a lot of you um, are from further away distances than the areas that were located. But really take advantage of everything that is on the website. I know that they could be a little bit overwhelming at times, but a lot of us offer virtual tours. Uh, we recorded, you know, special events. We have opportunities for you to connect with current students. So take your time to really navigate the different websites. You'll be able to really get a better sense of what a major looks like at a particular school, the type of students that attend the school, and most importantly, the resources that would be available to you. So utilize those websites. They're definitely there for a reason. Fantastic. Thank you. Wellesley College? Yeah, uh, I definitely agree with a lot of what's been said. I think something that I would add is how important it is to own the process uh, and to be true to what you want out of the college experience. I think it's common for there to be a lot of people in your life who want to have a say in what you write your essay about or what your college list looks like or even where you end up committing. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to college, right? And it's important to make sure that your needs and your wants are met uh, because it's your college admissions process, not anyone else's. So uh, there are gonna be a lot of people in your life who, who wanna have a say and in some senses it makes sense, but don't let your perspective become so clouded by so many other outside voices that your voice then becomes lost. Thank you so much. Lemoyne College. A lot of great things to say, right? And I think at its core, it's really important to spend some time with yourself and get a sense for the direction it is that you want to go into, right? You might not have all the answers, right? And that is okay. I do encourage you that if uh, you find yourself in that space of getting overwhelmed and things like that, there are so many options, right? Take a second, put your feet on the ground and inhale, exhale, right? It'll be all right at the end of the day. And especially once you have that sense of, who you are, you know, and, and where it is that you feel like you can flourish. Are you uh, someone who can go to a larger institution? Are you better off in a smaller institution, closer to home, farther from home? And you're able to narrow your list down that way. I would encourage you then to move forward and then, you know, put your feet on the floor of the campuses that are most interesting to you after you've gone through that application process and, you know, see how you feel there and understand that that will be the, the foundation for your next steps. And it doesn't have to be all answered right away, but accept it as a foundation. Awesome, thank you so, so much for, for that advice. Now we do have another question. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? And being first College of the Holy Cross, again, I am putting you on the spot but again, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Yeah, um, I really hope, I mean, six minutes is not a lot of time to go through all the intricacies of all of our institutions, all of the great things that um, we all have. But I hope that um, at least for our institution, you can sort of take away um, that everyone is committed to our community and committed to creating an inclusive environment um, and an environment where everyone feels supported and feels welcomed. And you're all going to have individualized experiences at Holy Cross, um, but you're all one student body. So we really are a great community here. And if you've ever find yourself out in the Massachusetts area, please come visit us. And I hope you can see that for yourself. Great, thank you so much. The Catholic University of America. I would encourage you to remember that private higher education can seem unattainable financially, but all of the schools you've seen here um, are committed to making it accessible to, to all students from all backgrounds. Uh, and that's certainly true at the Catholic University of America. You've all heard our value proposition, but if you remember one thing is that if you're admitted to Catholic U and our admit rate is about 80%, we have no application fee, you will get a full tuition award because we are committed to helping you afford a private Catholic education. Great, thank you so much, Bentley University. 
Um, we do not have um, such a special scholarship like Mark just mentioned for his institution, but I will have to echo to please don't ever let the sticker price particularly of a private institution, turn you off from applying until you actually apply to the school and you do at least the FAFSA application. You just never know. There's definitely um, been so many instances in which a school that you thought there's no way that this can happen is oftentimes the best choice, even at the price point. Um, that that you think that would just would never be possible. So please, please don't ever be discouraged by looking at a sticker price. Please understand that every institution has their inside workings in which they're trying to be or do the best that they can in regards to making a wonderful education possible for everyone. So that's something that I do really want to echo um, because it's an investment, um, but particularly for, for Bentley, we have an amazing return on investment with a great track record. So that's something that I'd like to point out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wellesley College? Yeah, I definitely want to reiterate what other folks have said about, you know, not being phased by sticker prices or whatever that may be. I know when I was applying to college, it was it was really scary to see like, oh, $80,000 a year. I was a low income student. That was like four times as much as my mom made every year. It's really scary. Uh, so making sure that you're doing your research about what what the college will actually like it, what what it could potentially actually cost you right is is really crucial. And then what I would also say to add on to the conversation uh, is that Wellesley and other folks here today uh, evaluate uh, using a holistic basis. So it's not just, you know, GPA cutoffs, right? We're not like, oh, you got a C in sophomore year geometry, that's it, right? Like you're not gonna get in, right? We, especially given the past couple of years, given the impacts of the pandemic and how that's been uh, impacting students in inequitable ways, right? We really wanna make sure we're understanding where you're coming from, your specific context, um, and how crucial it is to advocate for yourself. And you're never going to be dismissed just because you're not perfect. No one is perfect. And Wellesley and other colleges here today are not expecting you to be. So I would say for Wellesley specifically, know that we evaluate using a holistic approach and we're looking at who you are as an entire person, not just as a student, not just as a community member, but everything all at once. Uh, so yeah, that, that would be what I would have to say. Awesome. Thank you so much. Lemoyne College. Um, so students, as you're going through your college application process and deciding where you want to go to school, there are hundreds and hundreds of excellent choices out there, right? And Lemoyne is certainly one of them. Uh, in our 75 years as an institution practicing uh, the Jesuit tradition, which is also a 500 year tradition, um, you know, we've continually worked to perfect that and the way that we show up for our students, the way that we show up in our community. Uh, in those 75 years alone, we have become a real staple in the Syracuse area in the Northeast uh, parts of our country here. And uh, hundreds of students are educated at Lemoyne every year with millions of, of wonderful things to say. All right. And so as you are going through your process, I do encourage you to check out Lemoyne if anything I said uh, does sound of interest to you and come and visit our campus and come and be a part of the magic that we have going on up there. Awesome, thank you all so, so much for your expertise and giving us again, a little taste of your college or university. What you do panelists and presenters are super, super important. So thank you so much for being here today. My participants in the audience, what you do by showing up to these events is also very important. So thank you so much for joining us. Now, remember, after you close out this window, a very quick five question survey will appear. Remember the words very quick are literally on your screen. So promise it will not take that long. Please give us some feedback. We really do appreciate it. Remember, sign up for more sessions. This is one out of many college presentations offered. So check the schedule on the website and go ahead and sign up to hear more about some other schools. 
And if you'd like to relive the fun with us, a recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Christo dash Ray. So check out those recordings. And with that said, thank you all so, so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.